Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you guys doing today? This is Ray. Thanks for joining me. Listen, I got another how-to open boxing. Just installed a antenna mount on my Super Duty truck. All right, you've been following me. You know I just did a quick mon one minute short on how to install a GMS radio into your Super Duty. Again, I put a playlist uh, link below. Check out that if you're interested. But this is the mount I'm using, all right? As you know, I'm trying to put some comms in my Super Duty. And I ended up picking up something from, I forgot the company's name. I think Bullet, Bullet something. But I put a link right up there. As you can see, added a decent mount right there. Guys, I've been looking at this mount. This mount is just as expensive as the damn radio. <laughs> but it's well made, easy to install. And it's something if you're looking for option and installing a tenor for your ham radio or your GMRS radio, take a look at that mount. It's not bad, all right? So that's it. Just a quick video. Hope it helps you out, give you some options, give you some looks at it, all right? Please consider like, subscribe. Enough of me talking. Let's just get into the video. Let's go. Okay, let's get into this. Now, this is something I've been looking at for a while. It's from Bulletproof Diesel. Now, you guys are familiar with that website. They make custom parts for your super duties and a host of other type of trucks. And I've been looking a way to mount my antenna on my truck. And I didn't really want to put it in front of the on a pillow or anything like that all right i wanted to get it high again because i'm gonna be installing two radios in my truck a g and my rs and a ham radio i wanted to uh, have a uh, a good way to mount in it and so they make custom mounts for the truck and this is pretty much how they said it and if you guys know about this company this is not a, an expensive mount not by a long shot so we're just gonna do an open box. I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks. Since you lit a, a bunch of stickers, which I always appreciate. All right. Along for your camera beer or whatever your preferred beverage, like that. And this is how it comes. This, it does come FedEx based on the price on this. So you're definitely gonna have to sign for it, which I like to make sure I got my product. And let's just open this up, all right. Just to the side and here it is guys i end up getting the dual the dual antenna mount for the super duty all right because again i'm running two antennas in my system and again you guys i'll put a link exactly to this particular product but if you're doing your research you guys know what this is all right uh you're not you're not chimping out on anything here this is not Chinese made all right <laughs> all right this is uh made in the good old US of A which I appreciate so come well packed oops come well packed vacuum sealed with like all your hardware nice pres presentation so let's see how I'm gonna open this here to make it more sense All the hardware they give you the directions in here let's take a look at it see how it looks very uh very detailed video oh video i mean direction on exactly how to mount it yeah very straightforward very straightforward very good manual i'm surprised they you're still giving you hard copies most companies are making you download an app or a pdf file or something so i'm glad they decide to add a brochure or directions also we got our hardware and now with this particular mount mount it comes already connected with your your cables which i like um it, it just it prevents or it's not necessary to buy a, a extra mount separately all right i'm gonna cut this all open they really packed this very well <laughs> So you're definitely gonna have to destroy the bag to get everything open. 
We got it all out. Now here it is. Give you guys a closer look at it. And let me tell you my first impressions. Very nice. It's a very nice thick aluminum. I have a little seal on the back. As you can see, this style of a tenor I got, I have or picked up, I ended up getting two. And everything's pretty much all connected. All right, I just have to decide which side I want to be GMS and which one I want to be ham. I'm just, all right, so already connected. And again, ideally where I mounted my radio, this is ideal. I have plenty, plenty of, plenty of cable to get to my radio on how in mounting it. So this is how it looks guys. Let's, uh, let's take it over to the truck. Let's get started. Again, any questions, any comments, hit me up below. This is a very expensive mount, but again, I'm of the philosophy. I like buying quality products at an inexpensive price. Unfortunately, this is a quality product, <laughs> not so inexpensive, <laughs> all right? And I knew that buying it, all right? I've been researching and I haven't found anything that I like other than this mount here. Just the aesthetics of it, how it would mount on my car, a nice clean installation. That, that's my two cents about it. Again, they're not endorsing me. I paid for this for my own money because of the support you guys give me and I do greatly appreciate it. So let's take this over to the truck, get it installed and that's it. So let's go, stay with me guys. All right, we're in the back of the truck at the third brake light. Now again, I'm working on a 2020 Ford Super Duty, all right, F350. So be guided by your year and make of your vehicle on installing this. All right, it's gonna be straightforward, at least in my case. I got four screws I have to remove, all right? I'm using a T20, I guess torque bits or something like that. I put a little screenshot with the name of these bits, I forgot. Just need that, and we're just gonna take this off. All right. All right. I'm just going to be using hand tools pretty much on this. They they do require, they say a drill with a drill bit. All right. We'll figure that out once we get to that. But taking this off and putting it back on, I recommend using hand tools. Don't use any power tools. And I'm a fan of my power tools, but again, we're dealing with plastic. You don't want to over tighten it and end up cracking your housing. So sometimes we just got to know when to put it down. That's just my opinion on how to do this. Hey guys, I'm sharing this. These are my experiences, how I'm approaching things. This is anything I've done on my truck, it's how I approached it. All right, not saying it's uh, always the correct way maybe, but it's the way I approach it to get things accomplished. Sometimes you gotta think out of the box and install certain items, or sometimes other things are pretty much straightforward. You just gotta evaluate your own system and be able to adapt. All right, yes. okay, as you can see, it's coming off now. Also guys, in my model, and I didn't realize that, I, in, I we have LEDs in this housing here. So to my surprise, I thought it was bulbs, but we do have LEDs. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna disconnect this stuff here to remove this out of the way. Yeah, this one here, push that down and push up. It's held on right from there. And this other one, Okay, same thing. Right here, you push down on this part here and lift up and this will come right out. So we're gonna put this to the side. All right, that's when removing it. And now let's uh, see what's the next step. So stand by, let me break out the directions and we'll go to the following steps, so stand by. Okay guys, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna deal with step, step four. What you're gonna have to do, for one thing, before you do anything, make sure you have some fiber cloth towels clean around your edges here because once you mount this on here you're pretty much not going to be taking it off so just get it cleaned up and once that's done also you're going to have your mount the cables here are going to be on this side so you're going to have to fish these cables the radio cables or coax cables back towards you all right all right get this mounted up all right temporarily all right so fish that through and you're gonna have to break out your screws, all right? They give you four fill-up pan screws, all right? The, the pointy ones like this. And what they're telling you is pretty much you're gonna line up your bracket to 
those mounting points. And you're gonna use these screws to secure your bracket to your cab. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now, lining this up and screwing this in. So stand by, let me just get this done and then we'll pick up the directions after I get this secure. All right, so stand by guys, let me get this done. It's just simply using a Phillips screwdriver. Again, don't use any power tools just yet. Um, we are going to have to drill a couple of holes. All right, so that's secure. One, two, three, four. All right, so stand by and let me see what's the following. All right, we're up to step five. All right, now step five, once you get your screws in and just snug them down, don't over tighten it, but you want it nice and snug. All right, so you know this is not going to move out because you want to accidentally crack your uh, plastic caps here so so make sure you do that doing that now now this is where the drill bit comes in this hole this hole this hole this hole four holes you need a three sixteenth drill bit you have to drill through all right four holes above it so let me get my drill I'm gonna continue doing that and then we'll pick it up after that so that's step five okay and of course when you drill make sure put your hand in there and make sure you know what's behind the panel so you're not drilling too tight any type of um, wires what have you and pretty much clear all right so let me get this drilled in and we'll pick it up after that so stand by and that's simple all right just using this as a template take your time go slowly with this drill bit not always a tooth not a fan drilling to my body, but scraps because you don't want to scratch your paint finish. So be careful. All right, this one here, make sure you push the wire away from the hole that you'll be drilling. With a sharp bit, it doesn't take too much to go through this, uh, the cat. It's very, it's cutting through like butter, I'll tell you the truth. Okay guys, as you can see, I drilled my hole. Now what I'm doing, um, just a little X step, just a little preventive maintenance. Now when we drill that hole, you know you got pieces of metal, fine metal around that opening and around your truck. I suggest what I did, I pulled out my little trusty Milwaukee vacuum. I hooked my holes on the outlet to get some compressed air or some air so I can blow this all out. So. Just a little tip I want to give you, just to protect your finish of your truck. Again, you see all these little metal pieces flying all over the place. Just want to get it all removed. And that's it. Just a quick tip I want to give you. I'm just anal that way, forgive me. All right, back to the video. Now we're gonna have to add our support brackets. Now take a mental note how this looks. You see how this is long on one side and this one's long on one side and short? That coincides on where these holes, see how that's lined up right there? And the other one is the same way. So what you're gonna do, just simply take one of these brackets and you're gonna have to use, they call uh, the cap screws. All right, they call them cap screws because it has a little cap on top of it. And you're gonna need, I believe this is a, a size four, T4 I believe it is. Let me make sure, yeah, number four for that hole. So make sure you have that on hand. All right, cause you're gonna need it. And all you're gonna do now, you're just gonna feed this between here and here to get this locked in, all right? So stand by and let me get this done. And once you get it up there, you'll, you're just gonna feed it in just to get it up there. All right, that's in there. Let me get the other one side in, then I'll come back and tighten it up. And when you put it in, there's like a little cavity up here so it fits in nice and snug. Very nice design. All right, they really engineered this, uh, this bracket well. All right, that's in there. And the next one. It may start off a little hard to get it started, but once you get it in, get it going, it'll catch and feed in. Okay, guys, 
it's installed all right it's locked in it's not going anywhere don't over tighten it too much but make sure it's nice and snug and it's a it's a good fit so now uh, take your wire fish it back out so you can reach it now we have to fish our coax cable into the cab now before we do that and it's recommended and i agree i'm gonna have to since i have two separate antenna mounts i'm gonna have to mark which one is which this is going to be my gmrs feed here and this one here will be my ham so i'm just going to go give me a piece of tape and put around here so I could color code it so I know which one is which. So once that's done, then I'm gonna have to feed it inside, inside the cab. And when you look into your cab, you'll see there's an opening right here. So that's where I'm gonna start feeding my, my cable to get it in to drop it down. So stand by, let me get that done and we'll just keep it moving. Okay, let me explain to you what I'm doing. Guys, in the rear, you're gonna have to pull back your, your headliner right here all right when you pull it back what i'm using i'm using a, a fishing wire very handy when you're running wires in your truck you have to have something like this all you have to do is pull this back a little bit not too much and i don't know if you'll be able to see it you probably won't be able to see it or well, maybe you will you'll see a little light right up there all right that's the opening for your wiring fish your line through here and let me show you how it's going to look on the other side oh Okay, all right, I got my wire coming through here. It'll just come up through that hole. What I did, I took a, since I'm fishing two cables at the same time, just got a little paper clip marked both cables. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna push this back into this hole and then go back inside and pull it through. And that's it, all right, it's not that difficult. It's easier if you have an extra pair of hands to help you out, but you can do it by yourself if you don't. So let me just get this fish through and we'll pick it up once I got it, have it fished into the cab. And just make sure when you fish it, again, make sure the wires are set up so when you pull it through, they're all going through the same hole. All right, and you don't get bind up between these two posts. So let me just keep it moving and go on to the next step. Push this down into this hole, trying to keep everything together. That's back there. Bring my wires this way. Let's get it set up so when I pull it through, it's not getting bind up on anything. All right. There we go, it's got both wires coming through. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna push, pull it through. Once I have it in the cab, then I'll set it up on getting back up into the liner and running this way, coming down and drop it to my radio. I already got the GMS RS Maryland radio base already set up. My second station for my ham will go right here. So everything will be boarded into this, this section right here behind the seat. And that's it guys. All right, so let me just get this going. Let me get it pulled through and we'll pick up the, um, the video once I got it all fished in and buttoned up and fished in this area, okay? All right, so stand by. Okay, she wants to update you guys. Listen, nice clean insulation, the wires in, running up through here, easy to tuck behind all of this. This is my ham radio cable here, just tied it off for my future radio that's gonna go there. The GMS just goes behind this grate here, comes out on this side, plug it right into the radio. Very easy, very clean installation. Not that difficult at all. Not that, that difficult at all. All right, and getting in. Fishing that wire, very easy, just as long as you have some type of, this type of tool here. I recommend a plastic one, but still one's fine. Whatever you have, you know, you can use. And that's that. So let's take it out to back of the truck and let's get everything else hooked up. All right, so stand by. Let me just get back up here and reconnect the light. And then I'm gonna put up my antennas. So let me just get that in back installed and we'll pick it up after I get it done. All right, so stand by. Everything's wired, it's connected to the radio. Now we're just gonna reattach. Just put this in reverse order. First thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect this small one first. That goes in, that goes in, that's it. So now we're just gonna line this up here. With this connect, you're not gonna reuse the factory 
screws. You're gonna use the screws they give you and it's just gonna line up with the existing holes. And this size here is a, a number three hex screw. All right, again, don't over tighten it. This is plastic and you don't wanna break it. And as you can see, I chose to get the one without the lights, the bed lights, um, and only because these lights are already LEDs and they're pretty bright. So, so I'm happy with the output of it. All right, so I don't think, for me, it wasn't worth the extra cost for the, a couple more lights up there, but that's just me. All right, I'm pretty sure if you have the halogen, maybe invest in, in some LED bulbs or that LED setup may be a good look for you. And that's it, guys. That's there. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add my antenna. I end up picking up the Midland 3dB gain antenna. With the package, it does come with antenna already, but I chose, you know, for shit and giggles, go for a little more power, and we're just gonna screw this up here. Looks nice. And what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm just gonna throw this antenna, it's just for looks, because I don't have my uh, ham radio antenna, but just to protect this connector right here, just throw it up there for looks, just keep it up, you know, the weather off of it. And that's that, guys, and I'm done. There you go, all set up. It looks good. I know the bracket's pricey, it's pricey like a motherfucker, but it is what it is. You can't take it with you. These are boys in their toys. Guys, that looks sweet. I really like it. I'm going to end this. All right, that's my setup for the antenna for the Midland NXT575 radio and my ham radio antenna setup. Tell me, give me some comments. What do you think? You might consider something like this. Guys, if you're going to go to, I'll put a website of this particular bracket. All right. In the buying it again, I bought it my own. It's not affiliate, so if you pick, get it, uh, that's up to you. But if you could do me a favor, reach out to the customer service and say, "Listen, I'm only buying it because DIY Ray say it's a good look." All right, help me get some sponsors. All right, <laughs> all right, and your sponsors out there, come on, hook a brother up. Come on. Anyway, that's my plug for my <laughs> my channel, guys. This is it. I'm gonna keep it moving. And again, check out the, the video shorts, how I installed my radio into my truck. And that's it, guys. Please be safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.